Hi, my name is Amber Ko, and my topic is the Sitaram River. The Sitaram River, located in Indonesia, is the most polluted river in the world. Early in history, the Sitaram River was clean and full of wildlife. In the beginning of the 1970s, the region became more industrialized and the Sitaram River became heavily polluted. Textile factories often dumped their waste into the river. Since the river was already so polluted, the people weren't bothered by throwing their own trash in there as well. The river is extremely toxic. It is contaminated with agricultural excess, industrial waste, and sewage. It is concentrated with high levels of mercury, chromium, and iron. There were once 34 species of fish in the river, but now there are none. There is no biodiversity in the area. Pathogens thrive in the sturdy environment, making it easy for disease to spread. The locals often struggle with skin irritations, diarrhea, and lung problems. The water has greatly diminished the production of crops. Rice paddies often turn black or navy blue from the water's irrigation and flooding. Even though the people are aware of the effects of the river, they still continue to use it because they don't have access to other resources. Most of them are in poverty and have no other option. The river is used by 25 million people for everyday activities such as cooking, bathing, and cleaning. Over the years, many people have tried to clean the river. However, the majority of the attempts have failed because the government has been too focused on the economy. Joko Widodo, the Indonesian president, has created a seven-year plan to make the Sitaram River safe to drink by 2025. The government has promised to revoke business permits and close companies that continue to neglect waste disposal rules. Now, local military forces will supervise the area and place surveillance cameras to ensure that people don't contaminate the river even more.